Hey guys, it's Paul here with Gear Test TV, and today I have a quick tip and tutorial for you on how to clean up your audio in Adobe Audition. And specifically, I'm gonna be talking about how to remove plosives, that little burst of air that you get sometimes with a T or a P sound in a word that causes a little low rumble. And it can be really simple to remove those, but it makes a big difference in the way your dialogue sounds in the end. So I'll show you the sample I'm working with. This is a video I just finished editing for my other YouTube channel where I was reviewing this top quilt. And you can see here I was wearing a lavalier microphone and sometimes if I had my head tilted down, I would get a little plosive with certain words in that microphone. So if I make some more room here and switch over to the unedited dialogue track, you can see I've already placed a marker in two places here where there's a plosive and I'm not even really gonna work with the waveform monitor, so I'm gonna minimize that. I'm just gonna be using the spectral display. And if I play this, and it's a completely enclosed sewn-in foot box that if you can see here, you can hear that with the little T sound there. There's a plosive, and the same way with this other one. First at the very top here, there is. So if I just zoom in to that section, I can already see the, this little bright spot here. That is the plosive that we're hearing right around, I would say, five or 600 hertz and below. Now, one way to do this is that you could highlight the entire section. You could go up to effects and you could use a filter or an EQ to remove that entire band of audio. But I actually don't wanna do that. One thing I've learned about editing audio is that oftentimes less is more. If you try to remove all of the background noise, you end up with a tin can sounding vocal. But if you just minimize background noise, you can kind of maintain that natural sound. I'm gonna take that same approach to removing this plosive. So what I'm gonna do is instead of removing the entire little section of, of this frequency, I'm just gonna minimize it to the point that you don't really notice it being there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the selection tool, the lasso selection tool up here, and I'm just gonna draw a circle right around that bright frequency selection there. You can see it selects that in both channels, and you can hear it if I play it back there. And what I'm gonna do is instead of just entirely removing it, I'm only gonna drop it by say, about 12 or 13 dB. Now, if I play it back, you'll probably still hear it a little bit. That, if you can see here, it you can still hear it slightly there, much, much less noticeable. So I'm just gonna come back in, highlight an even smaller section of just the brightest part, just the loudest section of those frequencies. And I'm gonna drop that by another roughly 12 dB. And now if I go back and play this, in foot box that if you can see here it runs you can still hear something slightly there but it's much less noticeable now I could go back and continue dropping that until it's just entirely gone but you get the idea with that one let me go ahead and do that one more time with this section and again you can see exactly where that plosive is I'm going to highlight around that I'm going to drop this by 13 or so the very top here it's already better but there's definitely still a little bit of a plosive there this time let me drop it by just 20. and what you can see is that's still leaving some of this frequency in here it's not entirely removing it if you were to remove that completely you would still hear a little bit of a blip in the audio at the very top here there is a and you can hear that that is almost entirely gone along the opening First at the very top here, there is a... So that's gonna do it for this tutorial. Like this video if you found this helpful and subscribe if you would like to see more coming soon.